We are going to cast on 66. So with your yarn, we are going to make a slip knot. You tighten it on your needle. Now what we do is cast on 66. If you need more help on how to cast on, I have a link to my video that will go slower and show you all the steps. Now that we've done that, we are going to start our ribbing. It is a 2x2 two two rib and this is going to be the wrong side. Do you see the bumps? They're on the back. And this will be the right side. So right now we're working on the back. Row one is going to be our wrong side. And we purl two, knit two, and we end at purl two. So, yarn's in the front, put your needle from the back to the front, bring your yarn around your right needle, and then slide it off. Let's purl again, back to the front, bring your yarn around, Take it off. Now to knit our yarns in the back. We go from the front to the back. Bring our yarn around and slide it off. Let's do it again. Front to back. Bring our yarn around. Slide it off. Purl two, knit two. And then on the right side rows, you're going to start the knit to purl to the exact opposite. Okay, we're at the end of the row. We're going to purl to. And then you turn our work over so that it's on the left needle. And don't forget, you don't have to use a circular needle, you can use a straight needle. And now we're on our row two, which is knit two, purl two. And we end on a knit two. Do this for six rows. Yay, we're done with our ribbing and now we're going to start with the body, which I already did. The row one and it is pearl. So now we're on our right side. So now we can do the bobble row. There are two different bobble rows and this is what the body is going to look like. You will have the bobble rows and then you will do the rows in stock knit stitch. So on the right side row you knit and on the wrong side row you will purl. Since I have so many different sizes on here, the bobbles are in different places. So just follow along with the pattern and this is how I do a bobble row. I am showing you how to do size 6 to 12 months. What we do, Let's get to the bobble. So for the size 6 to 12 months on this row, we're going to knit two. Now, okay, let's do the bobble. And I'm knitting this pretty tight. My tension's tight. We knit one. We're going to be making the bobble in this same stitch. So we knit one, we're not going to pull it off. We just pull. To the side and then we're going to knit through the back loop just like that bring your yarn over okay pull again and then we're going to knit now we can pull it off so we have three stitches right here turn your work over and we purl those three stitches Okay, turn your work and knit those 
those three stitches. One, two, three. Turn your work again. We're going to purl three stitches. One, two, three. Okay, now we are going to slip our first stitch off. Not going to knit it, nothing. Slip her off. Now knit two together. So you just pretend these are the same stitch, knit them as if they were one, like this. And slide it off. Don't forget this step. I actually forgot this step in a few months. So I had to tear it all out and start over again. Ugh. Okay, you have to you know the stitch that we slipped off? You pass your slip stitch over this stitch and off your needle. And bam! Look at your cute bobble! Okay? So that's how you do the bobble. And then you have 11 stitches in between your bobbles. Except at the beginning and the end, you'll have different amounts of stitches. And then 11 and do it again. That's how you make your bobble. Okay, now we're done with the body. We are going to start knitting in the round. This is when you're either going to want to do the magic loop method, which is where you divide your stitches in half using a cable needle, which is what we have right now. It has to be long enough to do the magic loop method. And anyways, Basically, you pull these stitches off and then you start knitting this side. Once you get to this side, you just do the exact same thing. I have a video, how to do magic loop method, link below the video. Or you can do double pointed needles, which a lot of people like to do, I don't like to. Or you can switch to a smaller cable. This is my 16 inch. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm first going to start off with this. Transfer all of your stitches to your smaller cable. Now we are going to start the crown. We decrease rows. We are going to slip slip knit. So what you do is you slip your first stitch off, slip your second stitch off, Go from the back of those two stitches to the front. That's what it looks like on the back. In the front. And then, this is how we join. Now, it's joined. Okay, so we did our slip slip knit. We knit 12. And then we're going to knit two together. Make sure your bobble stays forward. You're going to do slip, slip, knit, knit 13, and then knit two together. And then you just repeat that once. Okay, and knit two together. All right, so we repeat that. Slip, slip, knit, knit 12, knit two together. Slip, slip, knit, knit 13, Knit two together. Okay, so I just did my knit two together. Now for row two and all other even rows, you are going to knit across. 
Okay, so just knit. And then your odd rows, that's when you're going to be doing your decreases. Now, if you want to, you can use stitch markers before you are going to be doing your decreases, like before you do your slip, slip, knit, and knit two together. And you know, okay, these next four stitches, I'm going to slip, slip, knit, knit two together, and then go until I get to my stitch, slip, slip, knit, knit two together. That might be easier for you, or you can just follow along with the pattern. All right? Okay, and then all you do is you cut your yarn, and then you're going to weave through the remaining stitches. So since I cut my yarn on this one to make it a circle, I'm going to go through those stitches first. Let's pull. And then I'm just going to take those off and go through them very carefully. Tie a knot so it stays tight. Okay, and then go through the inside. Okay, so that's what your back will look like. And then you just weave in your ends. So you just kind of go back and forth through these stitches. And you also weave your other ends the same way. Okay, I'm gonna get your scissors and cut that. And it is looking so good. Now we're going to go around. Change to smaller needles. 